हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोन टॉक अबाउट सेरिएटेड बालास टैंक इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल सी दैट व्हाई वी वांट टू टेक बालास वाटर इन द टैंक व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ बालास वाटर इन द टैंक व्हाट इज द एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ एसबीटी व्हाट इज एसबीटी आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द रेगुलेशन रिगार्डिंग द एसबीटी एंड देन वी विल सी सर्टेन कंडीशन रिगार्डिंग द SBT as per the mathematical formula. So please tune till last. I guarantee that after watching the video, you will have a clear concept about the SBT and all the questions which are asked in the examination. So let's start the today video. So friend, first the question comes to our mind is that why balash water is taken? What is the importance of balash water in the tank? So basically, if the ballast water is not taken in the tank means after you have discharged the cargo the ballast water is taken in the tank if you are not taking the ballast water then what will happen the propeller will not immerse so as you can see in this diagram the propeller is not fully immersed as the cargo is been discharged so when the ballast water will be taken the propeller will be fully immersed if the propeller is not fully immersed in that case the engine thrust efficiency will not be proper and hence there will be too much slip after that the sbt or segregated ballast tank or ballast is taken in the water why because in order to maintain the optimum trim if the trim is maintained proper in that case only the propeller will get immersed and then only you will get the proper thrust so if the trim is not proper then you cannot run the engine efficiently so the ballast water is helping to optimize the trim after that the shear load and the torsion load increase okay which cause the increase in bending moment and slamming effect so if we don't take the ballast in the ship in that case the shear load and the tensile torsion load will increase which will ultimately leading to the bending moment and the slamming effect on the ship and moreover the vessel may face dynamic transversal and longitudinal instability so as you can see all this problem is arising because of the not taking ballast water in that tank so ballast water is taken because of this four reason okay so now the question come to our mind that what is the applicability of sbt so sbt is mentioned in the regulation 18 of marpol okay so it is basically it talks about that crude oil tanker having dead weight tonnage of 20000 ton and product carrier having dead weight tonnage of 30000 ton which are delivered after 1st june 1982 and all the other tanker of 70000 ton delivered after 31st december 1979 shall be provided with the sbt segregated ballast tank so this segregated ballast tank is basically what it is basically a dedicated tank which is constructed solely for taking ballast it means that suppose this is the ship mid ship section cross section so as you can see this is the area where you are taking cargo and this is the area this is the area where you are taking ballast water so this area and this cargo area both are separated completely separated means the piping arrangement of both the system are independent of each other so if anybody asks you what do you mean by sbt so sbt are the dedicated tank constructed solely for the carrying ballast water and the system are completely separate from the cargo this thing you need to tell in the examination first it is constructed solely for the ballast purpose and it is completely separated from the cargo and therefore it is called segregated the word segregated come from this okay and the segregated ballast tank i have got advantage that it avoid any chance of mixing oil and water which usually happen when cargo hold are used to carry ballast so let's try to understand this what i mean to say now suppose you are in normal case what used to have you should do have that you used to take ballast water in the same tank where we have taken 
cargo. Now suppose here is the cargo. After the cargo is discharged, you are taking ballast water in this tank and you used to carry it. But after 1982, okay, what happened? The concept of SBT came. They are saying no, no. When you are ever you are carrying the water in the cargo tank, you are discharging contaminated water overboard. To avoid this, they have come up with the SBT. What they are telling? They are telling that you should take ballast water completely separate. Means you are taking ballast water completely here, completely separate from the cargo tank area. So as you can see in this, in this here, so what happened means when you are carrying the ballast water in the bottom, in that case it is called double bottom tank. When you are taking ballast water in the top, it is called top side tank. Whenever you are taking ballast in the forward, it's called forward peak tank. Whenever you are taking in the aft, it's called aft peak tank. So as you can see, the ballast water can be taken in a different area in order to maintain the stability of the ship. If you see, this is the longitudinal cross section. This is the amity cross section. So the top side tank or tank side tank, top side tank look like this. Okay, look like this, this one. And the double bottom, the double bottom look like this. This is the basically cross sectional area of a bulk carrier. Now we come to the oil tanker. So oil tanker basically come up with the double hull construction. So what they have done on the, they have come up with the inner cell and outer cell. The distance between inner cell and outer cell is filled with the ballast water okay so this side cell area is fully filled with the ballast water and the double bottom area as as if like the bulk carrier is same so this arrangement is for bulk carrier this arrangement is basically for the oil tanker okay so now what is a sedentary ballast tank what is the applicability now we have understood let's see the regulation so it tell that all the crude carrier of 20,000 dead weight tonnage and 30,000 product carrier should follow this rules and regulation. So they say that you need to take the segregated ballast tank here. So as you can see, this is the area. So here we are taking the cargo. Okay. And this area, this area, you know, you know, this area is used for carrying the segregated ballast water. Now, if anybody asks you in the examination, can you take ballast water in the cargo tank so your answer should be yes we can take ballast water in the cargo tank even if the ship is provided with the sbt but there are certain criteria please hear once more if the examination is asked can you take ballast water in the tank if sbt is provided the answer should be yes the but certain condition need to be fulfilled so what condition you need to fulfill so the first thing is that the first thing you need to fulfill is that weather condition if the weather condition is so severe that you need to make the stabilization of your ship in that case you can take ballast in the cargo tank in exceptional circumstances where the nature of operation of oil tanker and ship need to carry ballast water in excess of which is normally carried under distributed condition of draft and trim in that case you can take additional ballast in the cargo tank so in normal case the ballast water which will be provided will not be required to carry ballast in the cargo tank means the ballast tank which are constructed normally are constructed in such a way that your condition are met that your propeller is immersed you have got adequate trim like all that but you if you're wanting to take the ballast water in the cargo tank in that case you you can take in certain condition like your weather condition is very severe you have particular extreme circumstances where the tanker operation need that requirement or whether you want to pass through a low bridge it means that your ship is passing through a very low bridge I mean, suppose this is a bridge you want to pass your ship so what you will do you will try to increase your draft it means that you will submerge your ship more so how you can submerge your ship more so you can submerge your ship more by taking additional ballast in the cargo tank 
hear me once more out now suppose you want to pass through a suppose this is a bridge okay so you want to pass your ship under a low bridge so what you will do you will have to increase your ship draft so how you will do it you will do it by taking additional ballast in the cargo tank so this is one more condition which you need to specify before doing this after that when the local port of canal regulation require this specific draft condition in that case it may happen you have to take water in the cargo tank after that when the loading and unloading arrangement require a tanker to maintain a particular draft which is deeper than to be achieved by the sbt are full it means that even sbt is full after that also you cannot able to achieve the draft which is required then that case you can take water in the cargo tank so friends in normal scenario you will not take water in the sbt but if you have to take you have to fulfill these conditions so you should remember because they are asked in the examination after more than that you will, when you can take you can take when you have to do the hydro pressure test or for a close up inspection of hull gazing using raft in that case also you have can take so now if additional ballast is carried then tanker shall comply with following condition now you have taken the additional ballast in the cargo tank now but it is which is not meant to the normal scenario so whenever you are discharging this ballast water you have to follow the requirement of ODME okay you have to follow the requirement of ODME that you need to pass all the ballast water which is taken in the cargo tank through ODME you have to make the entry in the ORB part 2 and after that you after that what it say it also say in the crude oil tanker where the cargo tank to be ballasted our crude oil was as prescribed in regulation 35 it means that if you have a crude oil tanker before taking the ballast you need to wash it by the arrangement as per regulation 35 okay now these are all the conditions now one more thing in the examination is sometimes asked that what are the conditions need to be fulfilled by a SBT so the condition which need to be fulfilled by a SBT is that that after you have taken water in the segregated ballast tank you can make sure that your propeller is fully immersed the first thing is that whenever you are taking means when the SBT is full means after taking water in the segregated ballast tank after unloading you your propeller should be fully immersed you should have a trim you should have a trim which is less than equal to 0.15 l so your ship length if, if your ship length is 100 then you should get a trim into 100 okay so you under, understand that it means that you need to say that whenever you are taking full sbt you should have a molded draft at emir ship 2 plus 0.02 l l is the length of the ship you should have a trim of less than equal to 0.015 L you should have a propeller fully immersed condition so these three things these three things are mainly asked in the examination that what condition need to be fulfilled as a SBT it means that whenever you are taking SBT in consideration you should make sure the capacity of SBT should be searched that it should be able to fulfill these three criteria MRC molded draft should be 2 plus 0.02 greater than that trim by stern should be less than 0.015 l and propeller should be fully immersed okay then only you satisfy the condition of sbt tanker of length less than 150 should comply with the guideline with the above requirement so basically the whole thing is based on this concept so friend in today video you have learned what are the condition which the sbt tanks will fulfill what are the condition if you are taking additional ballast water what regulation you should follow and in which condition you can take additional ballast in the SBT what is the SBT and what is the advantage of ballast water so friend if you have learned something in this video please do subscribe please do subscribe and please do say friends if you are watching the video till now I know that you want to pass examination swiftly so I urge all of you please join the membership and finish the exam quickly thank you